Yeah, no, actually, I, I, I just crashed. I just, I was out. Yeah. Oh, I missed him. Sam, don't miss him. Oh, Jesus. My name's Sam, this is Mick, you know, it's one of those cars. I'm back together again. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Finally. It's been too long. Yeah. Uh, fish and bone jack game today. Just uh, slow rolling a few little vibes along. Um, yeah, we haven't had much luck here, I just dropped one a few minutes ago. But um, that's about it. We're just basically all we're doing is just to pull out a fish from a nice little toe bit. We're lucky enough to be up with the tackle box boys. Um, tackle, for those who don't know, tackle box is a fishing form. Uh, in our opinion, it's the best in Australia. Definitely. Completely agree. Get get on the good oil, ladies and oh, ladies, I was about to say ladies and gentlemen, you got up me for that. Yeah. Guys, get on the good oil, get on tackle box. Definitely worth its worth its weight in gold. I've learnt a lot from it, so definitely one to get on. Without tackle box, we would have never met. Correct. Without tackle box, we would not have met. We wouldn't be doing what we're doing right now without tackle box. So it, definitely, you'll meet a lot of good people on there, and we've met a lot of good people just actually last night with a few beers while we were sitting around the campfire. So definitely worth it guys but um for uh, those that are out there the way that we're fishing at the moment we're in this little cove we can see a couple of things I'll, I'll we'll probably turn the camera around in a second to give you a look but yeah, sure. these uh there's plenty of structure that we're sitting around at the moment there's plenty of little sunken trees um over straight over just over here at the moment we can see a, a full tree in the water we're definitely going to end up casting at that i can see it already but uh there's a few sunken trees in this little cove at the moment steep rocky banks sitting in we're sitting here at eight meters worth of water with uh with about 10 degrees worth of water temp so um it's higher than what it was at the boat ramp so that's a start um it is late or mid-august at the moment so it's not, an ideal time. it's not an ideal time to be fishing it's ideal time for if you want big cod it's ideal time if you want to we're both fishing pipes exactly yeah, yeah we don't do that well do we but we would be happy to pick up a yellow. We'd be happy to pick up a couple of reddies, really. Um, a fish on the end of the line is what we want. I've dropped five cod in the last six outings. Sam didn't have any luck last weekend at Eel, didn't he? Only got reddies, not trout. And Sam just dropped the fish, and that's on camera as well. So um, it's uh, it's going to be tough. We're going to fish it because you know what? That's what we're here for. So enjoy, sit back, enjoy. Hopefully, we have a few fish to uh, to go go okay, well, along with the uh, video we've got going on. Yep. On. Yep. Sort of ready. Still a fish. Right? Still a fish. Oh, I'm going to have it in before you pull that off anyway. So. <sighs> oh, monster! Monster! Actually, he's, he's, <laughs> he's bigger than what you were catching <laughs> last week. <laughs> there you go, lady, ladies. I did it again. There you go, guys. Okay. Is, there you go, guys. Took us a little while, but we've, uh, a little while, actually no, we haven't been on the water that long, so, took us a while, I've now uh, equaled Sam's record for redfin in the last week. Now, we've been having a bit of a discussion about what to do with redfin, they're a class one noxious species in New South Wales, which is here, yep, um, I'll just put this cast over, over, oh, halfway back again, yeah. it is, they are a class one noxious pest, they are, it, it's illegal, if you will, you will get fined if you leave with one of these, leave the water with one of these, uh, live, you can return them to the water. Um, you, you're fighting a losing battle. If you if you don't, really, well, we can't beat them. We have a personal policy that we kill them. Yep. So all we do just to kill them, and this is for those that don't want to watch this, don't. For those, I just grab the gills, pull back. So he has no gills there, and just rip his head back. His neck breaks. You feel it. You know what? Off he goes. Um, a sea eagle, cod, he'll grab that later, he'll be very happy with that. So, fish number one, excellent. We got a fish. We've got a fish. Mm -hmm. He didn't really hit it, unfortunately. He just sucked it in. Yeah. He's hooked, don't get me wrong, he was hooked. Oh, yeah. You know what, I was, I was, I was a little bit worried about the old, um, there was a, we put a video up, or uh, well, Sam put a video up, sorry, about changing um, the uh, lures to single trebles, the single hooks, if you will, as you can see. This one, that's what I just caught the redfin on. So, fire tiger, chartreuse colours, if you will. Fire tiger. And um, 
yeah, so this is what I just caught it on. As you saw in one of our previous videos, Sam, we were just discussing about the uh, changing it from trebles to single hooks, like that. Um, I, uh, I was a bit judgmental. I said, you know, to Sam just a second ago, I said, I don't know about it, dude. I didn't know about it. I've now caught a fish. Yep. I can vouch for it. It catches fish. This guy's especially behind Sam just there. He's, uh, there's a couple of snags sitting behind us. Those snags is what we were casting at just a second ago. That's where I got the ready from. That way. There we go. Just over there. Just behind Sam's shoulder at the moment. There's a big snag sitting in the water. This is what the sort of stuff we look for when we when we come out to lakes. I know a couple of viewers were asking. That's better. There are fish in the middle of the lake, but they're, they're difficult to find for a start. There's no structure. Um, to there's, fish. No, there's no obvious structure. I mean, with the technology we've got now, with structures down, and everything like that. We can fish it, but we've got a preference just to find a fish what we are here. Yep, fish find the banks, we'll find, find yourself a nice fish. structured bank and fish it. It's as simple as that. Oh, ho, ho. I watched it, don't worry. <laughs> you do know what I saw as that left? <laughs> just a treble. I just saw a treble. Yeah, no, I, I, saw. Saw. I did get it. Oh, good, good. I'm glad set really Sam checked his angle. Something special about the Rapala Clackamac is it's got one solid bit of metal and it's actually a metal or metal noise. It gives it a really deep thud in the water which is which drives fish wild. And it's just something a little bit different to jackals. Jackals are great lures, don't get me wrong, but they've got a very high pitched rattle and fish start to wise up after we've been caught a few times. And unfortunately that's the downside to catch and release fishing. Well, I'd rather they wised up than went on and come fishing this plate. Okay. Just in case you guys are wondering, by the way, I haven't gone religious. <laughs> it's not the burka. Uh, this, uh, what I'm wearing is called a UV belt. This one's supplied by Rapala. Um, they're really good. They keep, they keep your skin away from the sun. You don't have to wear sunscreen. I hate to put sunscreen on. It's really well Got him. Oh, good fish. Better fish. Better fish. On the pause. On the pause. Oh, dropped him. Oh.